Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I've actually uploaded a video, but I just want to give you a quick update on what's going on with the Z and why I haven't really uploaded anything. So we'll just go ahead and get into it. Okay, so first and foremost, and as you can see, the Z is back on jack stands. And uh, in my previous videos, you saw that I installed these carbon fiber air intake duct things. And of course, um, I'm actually working with uh, TrackSpec Motorsports to develop a hood vent kit for use in like NASA and other uh, track organizations, um, but for the HR hood. So there's gonna be a custom piece that is built to, you know, fit the contour of the HR hood and then some side pieces there. So that's coming in a future video. Um, as far as I know, the vents are off to get powder coated and then they should be off to me here in a couple of weeks. So I'll be making a video about that. And I know that some of you were a little upset that I didn't show me cutting into the bumper for whatever reason. So I will be sure to show me cutting into the, like cutting into the hood on this thing. Okay, and so as you can also see, uh, I've taken apart basically my entire front end. And so what I plan on doing is uh, replacing, well, the ball joint, uh, cause I know that's bad. Um, and the bushings. Now, I know I don't have to replace the bushings, but I'm just going to replace the bushings because, well, um, one in the back here uh, is actually kind of bad. So it, it, there's a lot of movement in it and play. And as you can see in this video right here, it doesn't sit quite right. So, I mean, if I have to replace this one, I might as well replace all the other ones as well. So coming back here though, um, I finally got uh, some SPL arms, so I'll be doing an install video on those. And of course, I'll probably be double checking all my suspension stuff on silvers, which is still such a great coil over for the money. And I mean, I just can't talk highly enough about uh, silvers. Um, I may or may not be getting, it really depends, right? So my next event that I have planned is, uh, I believe in November. So I've got a little bit of time to work. Um, but um, I'm thinking about rebuilding the calipers. And the only reason because of that is because, well, one, I got the kit used and I think I'm getting a little bit of pad knockback. So I know that StopTech makes some anti-knockback springs. So I'm gonna probably get those and install them. But I mean, as you can see from the video, I don't, I don't really, the calipers aren't in that bad a condition to where they actually need to get rebuilt. But I may actually be getting some new brake pads. So haven't decided yet, but that's in the works as well. Um, so yeah, we talked about the fenders. I mean, not the fenders, uh, we talked about the vents. Uh, we talked about the bushings. Um, ah, yes. So I will be getting some fender vents and I know that I will be put into a completely different category for NASA TT, but I don't care because my ultimate goal really is grid life street mod. So I'll be getting the N15 curved fender vents here and then the race louver fender vents here. And that should basically cover all the cooling and venting I need for the front end. Um, I'm still trying to figure out uh, if I can build some canards for the uh, bumper and also trying to figure out a way I can utilize this area of my front bumper to kind of build a duct and kind of split it off in here so that it, one part of the duct is going to be for brake ducting and the other one will just be blowing cold air into this this area here but the reason why I want to do that is because I want to build um, some new intakes and I actually am getting this idea from uh, Turner Dobbins because he had some intakes that ran this way, but then they also ran down into this area. Obviously the fender liner wasn't there on his, but they went into this area down here, which I thought was a really, really good area to put that because well, one, I mean, I can't really run long tubes to the front of here because obviously I have the oil cooler here and the power steering cooler here and the hoses. So that really limits the space that I have. So anyway, yeah, I mean, that's just, that's just something in the works. And of course I do plan on getting a new Koyo rad radiator. I mean, nothing's really wrong with this, 
radiator. I mean, last event, I didn't overheat or anything like that. I think I, I think the max temp I saw was like 228 or something. We'll just call it 230. And of course, you know, new hoses and maybe a new tank, maybe the Soho one, because really that's the only one I know that has an off the shelf solution for this. So anyway, that's that. And coming over to the sides, I think I'm going to go ahead and get the Nismo V3 sides. I know I talked about the Nismo V ones, but I feel like the V3s would be just an overall better aesthetic. And I know I really shouldn't care about aesthetics as much, but you know, honestly, I kind of do. Also plug here. So um, some of you who know me in person know that I've been making uh, magnets for autocross and for track day use. So this is one of the magnets that I'm kind of prototyping. This is the only set that I have and I made them for me. I don't know if there's any interest in this type of a magnet for people, but um, <laughs> this one's pretty labor intensive. So if I do decide to start selling these ones, it'll probably be in the 80 or $90 range for a set of two and that is shipped. But if you check the description below, um, I'll link my Etsy store where you can get magnets and, that are much cheaper. And also I have a diff different couple of different products that you can choose from. So anyway, just figured I'd actually plug my Etsy store here. So go check it out and um, order some if you need some. I'll also be making some decals too. So there's that. Um, so we talked about the sides. We talked about my little Etsy store, um, the rear end here. The rear end is getting all SPL parts, and I don't know what I'm gonna do about the top part here, this top control arm, but I know that there's a couple of companies out there that make a uh, new one, so I may look into that, or I may, for the time being, uh, just get the bushings for that. And of course, I'm gonna take this off, this heat shield off, and probably readjust my parking brake, and I don't know if I need to replace my wheel bearings just yet, but that may or may not happen this go around. So there's that. And of course, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I, uh, I sold my exhaust. So I will be getting a new exhaust as well. And that will probably be a Gretti RS race single exit. And to complement that, I'll be getting rid of this stock bumper and getting the Nismo V3. And of course, these are going to be reps because I'm not going to destroy OEM Nissan Nismo bumpers. And plus, I don't want to pay that much money for them. So anyway, probably going to go with Shine Auto for both of these uh, because, well, you know, that's the, uh, the best reps from what I've researched. And I'm not sure yet, but I may or may not be doing the Nismo V3 spoiler or just going with um, a Nine Lives uh, wing in the back and then, of course, a uh, splitter in the front. So other than that, that's about it for the Z. And I know that um, I haven't made much videos about it lately, but that's, <laughs> that's why I'm waiting on a, basically parts and money. So that's about it for today, guys. I know that's a pretty quick video and not much to it, but I just want to give you guys an update on why I haven't really been making any videos, but that's really because the Z's going through a huge, um, you know, build phase right now. And uh, I'll be making videos as I can. And I know that I have a bunch of parts, like I have all these SPL boxes I got to do. And then I have, um, then I have, I have the sway bars I still need to do. I still haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with the, that because if I'm running a splitter, do I really even need that? Probably not, but you know, there's just a lot to consider. And as you can see, oh, I did get a press, Harbor Freight Special here. And this is my stock arms. And as you can see, my ball joint definitely needs replacing. Well, maybe on this side you can, you can see. But yeah, definitely needs replacing. So I'll be replacing that. And I really wish there was a company out there that made like solid ball joints, like Heim ones, but I don't know. I'll just probably end up replacing it with like a Concept Z1 or, uh, or like OEM, not out OEM, just another ball joint. So anyway, just wanna say thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.